uh, Ardha Uttanasana in this pose, you should feel like you're in a back bend. Okay. Did it look like she was in a back bend? Yeah. yeah. Then we're in the right place. It's a back bend. It's your first back bend of the day. It's your introduction. Pretty much the first three poses are your introduction to all the other poses. Tadasana, Urdhva Hastasana, Uttanasana, and Ardha Uttanasana. So you should feel like you're in a back bend. Okay. Yeah. So yes. Good eye. Okay. So that's what you meant. Is that meant she looked like she was in a back bend. Great. That's what we're going for. You actually want to feel your back strengthening. How did that go? Good. Yeah, two good ahas that came from, uh, from Heidi and Joy is uh, being conscious of which is your dominant hand mm -hmm. and having that be the one that massages the neck versus the other one. Mm -hmm. Good point. So thank you for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so one, that's, <laughs> you're like, well, just because one person was like, with my left hand, they're like, I didn't even massage you because I didn't know, I couldn't do it with that hand. So just something to think about is which is my dominant hand, and that's the one that's usually going to be doing more of the work. We didn't get to talk about it, but kind of did, so I feel like let's just go back into it. Is What is the point of Ardha Uttanasana? What's the point of the shape? The point of the shape, as, as uh, Becca was saying earlier, is that it's a back bend. So you want people to be working their backs, and it should feel very, very challenging because you're working against gravity. You're lifting your torso away from your legs, which means you're moving a away from gravity, and you can even tell it like when I'm teaching, specifically when I'm teaching sun salutations uh, as like a foundation, uh, like meaning that's all we're gonna do in the class, is like this is your first back bend, this is your introduction to cobra pose. You're, this is cobra in the upper body, okay? So you want people to really feel, right, their rhomboids, all the back muscles engaging to lift themselves up, so they should be like, whoa, this is work. Mark, mark, mark. But it is a flat back, but you're working, but because you're working against gravity, yeah, yeah 100%. Okay. But, like, but a flat back in this plane is a back bend yeah. because you're engaging your back in order to lift your torso up. Yeah. It should technically be a flat back on a diagonal, technically, depending upon what the shape of your spine is because it depends on the curves, mm -hmm. right? So what you want to do is be like, is your, are you, do you feel your back working? Do you feel your legs really strong? You're in the shape. Okay? Meaning that it shouldn't look like it shouldn't look like this, right? It should look like long spine. Woo! I'm like working hard now, both my hamstrings and my upper body. Okay? But that being said, it might look a deeper curve or less of a curve depending upon your curves. Right? So the question is then you ask your student or you tell your student, this is the goal of what we're trying to do in this pose. Do you feel that? <laughs> Crushing it. Or let's change it a little bit so that you are feeling that. Cool? Yeah. We really celebrate the different ways that our bodies, because we're all shaped so damn differently. Oh, gosh. Okay, here's the big one.